Parties absolutely are a way to hack distribution. They're a form of distribution that participates and connects from the internet and smartphones into the real world where initially, especially in starting up, especially in launching a new product or launching an actual startup, the function of the party very much promotes and very much gets to the core of, of getting conversions. And parties are definitely a form of distribution. The other side of the coin, party hosting for entrepreneurs. The reason I say the other side of the coin is that Traditionally, attending a party is just the boring side uh, of the coin where you think that attending is just the end all be all, where it's actually the flip side of the equation. The hosting of the party is where all the tremendous value is at. And I think that uh, what the general population thinks about hosting an event versus uh, the the intricacies of how a party is a form of distribution and how a party helps you convert and how a party actually gets your company, your entity, even yourself to the next level or even to the next, next level. A party guest is like a vat of unpopped kernels where you throw them in and you hope some of them pop. You have no idea. I mean, you try to bring in kernels and people that'll pop, people that'll help you. But in essence, and this comes from hosting so many different events, you don't know which popcorn is gonna pop. You, you eyeball somebody and you're like, oh yeah, this person looks like a winner. And you don't know, or this person, like you scoff at them and initially you think, oh, this person is not gonna help. You have no idea what popcorn pops. Be super nice to everybody and allow people to mix, mingle, and interact. A lot of times when I say producing a party, what do you think? You think it's gonna cost ten, twenty thousand dollars and it's gonna take weeks and weeks. It takes seven hours or less. The general population thinks that it's a full-time job. It is not. You can do a less than minimum viable party. Hashtag LTMVP, where if you go about hacking up an event using a checklist that you can find in the protocol in the business recipe of less than minimum viable party. You can do a party soup to nuts, beginning to end, bookend to bookend in under seven hours. That includes two hours for the party. Saying that you don't need a launch party or a premiere or a grand opening is like saying that you don't need distribution. Just because parties used to cost $300,000 in the 90s and go up with so much fanfare, and just because that model's broken does not mean uh -huh. that grand opening doesn't matter. It does not mean that premiering doesn't matter. It does not mean that distribution does not matter. It very much does matter. And that's why hosting and promoting uh, in the real world will get you real results. I love when people say, oh, parties are dead. They are not dead. Until the concept of a birthday party is no longer a thing, parties will go on until the end of time. Parties, people like it because there's real world interaction. A lot of people sure are on their phones, but get them off their phone. And until birthday parties are replaced with a text message or an email saying, oh, da -da -da, happy birthday, I mean, that's it's not going to get replaced anytime soon. Giggle snorts at people who think that parties are dead. Specifically, an after party is sort of a method to value addedly hijack. Let me repeat that. An after party, after a party, is simply a value added hijack, meaning you're augmenting an existing party. You're augmenting the existing state of mind. And that's what a party ideally does, is it captures the state and the mood of the environment that your party is being hosted at in the real world and augmenting whatever that feeling is and directing some of that energy to your effort, to whatever you're trying to get distribution on, to whatever you're trying to promote and 
get our people to use try or buy. Hosting a party, attending a party, is so similar to crashing an industry, where an industry currently exists without your company or your startup participating in it. So you're gonna to need to crash and uh, replace something that they used to buy from someone else, now they're gonna be buying from you. They used to do this practice, now they're doing your new practice. And that's what a party gets you involved in and gets you right at the core right at the the cut of what the old industry used to do and what you as a new industry participant is doing and a party is simply knowledge activation and brand activation for your new entity parties are a huge example of doing things that don't scale but have momentum so a party seems time consuming i've outlined in ltmvp less than minimum viable party that it is not but it is still a seven hour chunk of maker's time, maker schedule versus manager schedule. So it is a chunk of time, it is a commitment, but you are doing a thing that does not scale. The but has momentum part is the EUTM portion of it. Write that down, EUTWM PPM. It's where your Eventbrite and your Plancast link together, you're doing a YouTube, you're doing WordPress, Twitter, and Facebook. So all these forms of social media document your real world event to give you the momentum. That's the BHM, but has momentum, and do things that don't scale, but has momentum. I know I rifled off EUTWM PPM pretty strongly, but write this down, EUTWM PPM. Write this down. Pictures of the party are a form of distribution. Pictures at a party are a form of distribution. It gets you over the hump, it gets you going, it gets the you and three or co-founders who started the company logged into a picture in the real world interacting with prospects because people will look through those pictures and people will see if those pictures are tagged and people will associate those pictures with your new product that you're launching. So pictures are a huge form of distribution, especially at the startup phase. Every event has an Eventbrite where you try to sell registered users and you try to register guests, even if you're doing an LCRM, a Larry Chang reverse rebate model, where you charge people 50 bucks and if they show up, you give them the 50 bucks back, LCRM. The reason you're doing this on an Eventbrite page is that it very much gets you over three things. No need, no trust, and no momentum. Let me repeat, no need, no trust, and no momentum. That's why you're doing EUTWM PPM. And that's where an event by party page is an anchor flagship concept for, for you as a startup. Executives are programmed to say no to you two to 10 times. So the persistence of asking and re-asking, but here's the, the hidden nugget, the persistence and the follow-on ask for, hey, would you like to come to an industry-specific event that we're hosting at a very industry-specific conference? Inviting that executive to a real-world event helps you with the waves and cascades of being persistent and having a reason to be persistent. I think it's a CS183S, Lecture six, the ratios of how we try to sell and influence and wave in. So very much influencing the executive to invite them with a real world event. Here's some of the, the unit economics, the math of uh, how this works. You invite 100 people or 100 people, you invite 300 people, 100 people come. 0.25 of those people will send you a handwritten thank you note, one quarter of a thank you note after you invite 100 people. That's just how it works. With party guests, you can't eyeball and pick out and cherry pick the VIPs. You can't. Each person that you host, you need to ask at least one question of that expresses some interest in who they are and not, oh, what do you do? It needs to be, oh, are you having a good time? Were you able to find this okay? Just innocuously simple, hostful 
Is that a word? It is. Charming. Uh, finding out about them and reaching out to them and not eyeballing and, and over extrapolating and prematurely uh, underwriting the quality of a guest because you can't. You never know uh, which guest is going to be your breakout awesome guest. Good cooks hosting a party will always get distribution. People who cook well will always have friends. This matters for a party because it doesn't have to be open bar at the Four Seasons. You can just do a bowl of guacamole. Uh, my friend Chris, who used to sell at Duck Nine, he did startup waffles and his career is going great. So just a small token handcrafted, handmade food uh, will label you as a cook because who cooks uh, from scratch anymore? Nobody. So cooking a little bit of food or providing some kind of food helps you host. One thing that I do at my parties, I find a party theme that is a cat, a consumer advocacy truth, a consumer advo advocacy truth. So it's a uniform truth that is completely uh, unable to attack. So youth at risk or female entrepreneurship or raising your FICO score or awareness on uh, youth at risk. So I align my party theme to benefit a consumer advocacy truth. That way if there's a, uh, an attack coming on, I always have a countermeasure for it because hey, maybe you didn't like the fact that I promoted Duck9 but I did provide uh, information to battle financial literacy. Parties provide you a, uh, a platform to do what's called a Collison Brothers install where you're grabbing a person's phone or you're grabbing a person's laptop and you're actually installing your app. It's a Collison Brothers install. And as circling back to the fact that a party is a do things that don't scale but have momentum thing, I can't imagine better hand in hand those two things, a Collison Brothers install and a do things that don't scale but has momentum. So you're literally killing a bunch of birds with one stone, which is what EUTWM PPM is. Engineer up a tidal wave of momentum, perpetual promotion machine. Parties are very much distribution in a market that's completely crowded and saturated, and it's a way to battle apathy. If you're at a startup, don't even look at other startups as competition. Your biggest startup is apathy. I think Justin Kahn uh, said during CS183 Lecture 6, uh, startups don't die from other startups. Startups die from people not giving a crap. CS183 S's in Sales Lecture 6. A three-day technology conference is literally just a glorified party minus sleep for three days. So if you look at it as a conference, it's kind of intimidating. Uh, if you look at a party, it's also sort of intimidating. So when you're doing a party, you're really doing a party within a party. Write that down because it sounds smooth, but when you're executing it, it's super tactile. It's super detail oriented. You want to write this down. You want to host a party within a party. You don't want to host a solo party where nobody is going to come. You want to host a party within a party or specifically a party within a party called an after party. I see spring break as a week long party that's really just a trade show but with a bunch of college undergrads. And that is definitely an opportunity for a party within a party where if you want to wedge in collegiate content such as FICO score education or credit score uh, preparation, credit score augmentation, <laughs> augmentation, funny, doing that within the construct of a seven day spring break is a challenge, but going through the checklist of participating in the current energy and then redirecting some of that energy into your party. There's a Paul Graham essay, it's actually called Do Things That Don't Scale But Has Momentum. It's www.paulgram.com slash ds as in don't scale dot html. In Do Things That Don't Scale, you're 
commanded almost implicitly to do a party and it's not advocated right now within YC, Y Combinator, it's a business accelerator, but it's implied and you have to infer and extrapolate, hey, do a party. And doing a party typically lasts longer than seven hours soup to nuts to execute, but that's some of the counterintuitive stuff and that's kind of how to get the ball rolling uh, very detail-wise how to specifically do it. When you're an engineer executing protocols, and that's what this party how-to video is for, is for on engineers who are thinking about and doing entrepreneurship, there are a bunch of protocols. If you're using GitHub or Stack Overflow already, some of these protocols are super straightforward because you're used to ripping and copy-pasting protocols and this is the protocol for how to execute a party doing EUTWM PPM and the whole myriad of hashtags that I've rifled off. And the next one I want to expand on is less than minimum viable party. I actually wrote out a protocol called LTMVP, less than minimum viable party. It dovetails in with EUTWM PPM where you want to list out an Eventbrite event and you want to tweet at it from a plan cast account, plan like planning, cast as in casting agent sofa plan cast and you want to record videos on your smartphone that are 28 seconds to 38 seconds long and embed those YouTubes onto a minimum viable blog post MVBP specifically on WordPress and each minimum viable WordPress blog post is 12 sentences two pictures one focus now the two pictures need to be tagged your party's picture or your party's theme. So it would be Larry Chang, Duck Nine, Party. 